Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm Tawana Hines with uh, FunkyBrownChick.com, of course. And I'm Zoe Margolis, go with the one track mind.co.uk. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and we're just going to talk about sex because that's what we write about. So um, we thought we'd come. Here we are at Studio SX at South by Southwest in Austin. And we're going to chat. So we're glad to have you with us. So first of all, can I just say, to everybody who's walking around this big room, um, we're going to be talking about sex in this corner and about <laughs> blogging and sex and a little, maybe a little bit more sex, but possibly a little bit more about blogging about sex. So but turn around, come and sit down and we're talking to you and um, we're going to have a discussion about sex and blogging. Exactly, but we will not talk about blowjobs because we talked about We that. definitely won't talk about blowjobs <laughs> ever. Well, maybe one or two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, it's so, good, it's so good to meet you because we're yeah. sort of, you know, comrades in arms in a totally. way. Totally, yeah, completely. And it's funny because we met in New York and we found out and we both blog about sex and right, and you've got these great books out and things like that. And so it's nice to actually like talk about it. So why don't we tell everybody when you started your blog, I'll talk about my blog and okay. how we started um, writing about sex. <laughs> well, if anyone here is interested in hearing about sex, we're talking <laughs> about it in this corner. Um, wait, wait, what are we talking about? I don't remember. I think it involved blowjobs. No, we said no blowjobs, <laughs> no, but we were talking about sex. <laughs> um, oh, well, anyway, the introductions. I'm, I wrote or I write a blog called girlwithawontrepmind.co.uk and I wrote, started writing it four years ago and I wrote anonymously under the pseudonym Abby Lee um, and everything was fine and dandy and I wrote about people that I shagged and what I thought about sex and all the sex that I had and I lived my life very secretly. Right. Um, and then I wrote a book, uh, which is here. Go with a one-track mind. Actually, here's the American version. <laughs> and you can see, like... Oh, completely different. It's like English, you know, pretty exactly. girl on the cover. American, diary of a sex fiend. <laughs> you know, like, because uh, clearly Americans couldn't quite grasp the girl with a one-track mind irony. Um, no disrespect. I think you would have got the title a lot better than diary of a sex fiend, but there you are. Um, I wrote the book, and... Three days after it was published, I got outed by an English newspaper called the Sunday Times who decided to ruin my anonymity. So my privacy and my secrecy about writing an online sex diary was completely um, ruined. And here I am today, weirdly, on a platform talking in public with other people, with Tuana exactly. about sex, which I never ever thought I would do because I was so private about my life online. Yeah. And it's very surreal. That's so I think a lot of people can relate, especially those of us who blog about sex and dating. When I started I was anonymous as well. I went by a college nickname, Stoli, like short for Stolich and I have <laughs> Totally, because I thought people would judge me because I talked about um, going on dates with several different guys over a period of months or whatever, and yeah, I slept with maybe one or two or whatever, you know, and I thought I would be judged and looked down upon, and I thought I couldn't talk about my dating life or the difficulties I faced or feel vulnerable even talking about some of just how fucking difficult it is to start in New York or whatnot, and so I had it anonymous. Um, didn't tell anybody my name, didn't tell any of my friends that I even blogged. It was a secret, my own little dirty blogging secret. And then um, I started writing for an online sex magazine in New York, um, Nerve. And um, my face was with my words for the first time. And it was just like, I feel like exposed. And then even though I was writing about pretty graphically and pretty detailed about, oh, I went um, on a date with this guy um, and then recently I wrote about the guy who said he wanted to piss in my mouth and just like crazy ass things that were happening but the minute you put your name and your face to your words as you know it takes on a different life of its own so yeah so I've been did, did you just say there was a guy who wanted to piss in your mouth <laughs> but you have such a pretty little mouth oh, why would somebody sweetie. want to piss in that's it? what I said that's what I said <laughs> and it was like I can't believe I didn't tell you this story. No. It's a, yeah, okay, totally. This is in New York. Like when, yeah, completely. <laughs> Excuse when us, just talking about someone wanted to piss in their mouth. Sorry, what? <laughs> yes, oh my God, I thought I told you about, no, seriously, I thought I told you about this. I was on a date, not even a date, like out with a group of people at this yeah. party, and there was this guy who was gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous or whatever. And so, you know, we were talking, and, you know, a little flirting, and, you know, whatever, and his hands on my back, and we're talking or whatever. And um, he leans into me, and he's all seductive or whatever, he's like, I'm going to piss in your mouth. And I was like, 
but no, you're fucking not. What? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, shock. So just, yeah. One of my crazy, crazy did you, dating did you let him? Hell no. <laughs> I'm, not that there's anything wrong with mouth pissing for those who are into it, but yeah, I'm not into, into it. Own. Exactly. Everyone's got their kink. That's I just mean, not one of mine. Like, I have yeah. heard some chat up lines in my time, but that kind of takes the biscuit, you know. Takes the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you literally. and your British sayings. Yes. I have a question for you about being British. Go on. Do you feel like you get more ass in the U.S. because you have an accent? Hell yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 it's the accent, but I think it's also the attitude. Americans are, you know, they cut to the chase, to the point. Right. And there's no bullshit around it. And then right. it's like, oh, God, oh, no, I don't really know what to say to someone. And, oh, I want to ask them out. And does it mean I want to shag them and have a drink? You know, and there's this right. complete uh, hysteria around dating. Dating culture in the whole... There yes, is yeah, that culture. Exactly. And it's, right. it's, it's an alcohol-fueled culture because... You know, men and women are too shit scared to make any approaches. And this is in the U.S., you say, more no, than no, in England? No, no, that's in England. I was like, totally. oh, wow, no, totally. And okay. then in the U.S., yeah. you walk down the road and someone's like, they're cute. Hold on, yeah, you're cute. Do you want to you meet up for right. a drink? Here's my card. And it's like, fuck it. So it's so okay. upfront. Yeah. And I respect that because it... You know, no one's got time to waste. And exactly. Cut the and then, like, you're walking down the street, and you're your guy, and you see these girls. <laughs> like, who <laughs> wouldn't start? Them. <laughs> I know you've been wanting to all morning. I know, I have all morning, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Too funny. <clears throat> no, well, they're not so, that much on display in London. But, yeah. Okay. Right. So it's, it's, I mean, I don't know how you feel about, like, New York dating culture, for example. But oh, I, God. I think it's just very upfront in your face, and I like well, that. Well, it's upfront, and I've li I lived in your lovely land as well. I was in England. And uh, I've been in New York almost three years and I find it difficult, to, I mean, not difficult to find dates. Like I go on a lot of dates in New York um, just because there's so many people I'd say. So it's easier to like find people that you're interested in, they're interested in you. And there's a real kind of like alpha female, alpha male culture I think in New York where it's Definitely. like you go for it. And I mean, be it your job, your apartment, whatever. If you find an apartment, you know, like post it somewhere in the morning. If you sit on that shit all day, you'll never get it. So it's like there's really like you got to go for it, you got to go for it now. So it's like easy to find people to date but as far as like getting to the third or the fourth or like longer term stuff I think that's harder in New York than other places I'd say. You know this is making me think of, we, we had a conversation last night about dating bloggers didn't yes. we basically yeah. and about how actually it's almost a prerequisite now for me anyway it's right. like will you let me Twitter in bed. If not, you know, fuck off. I'm not. I'm not interested in a guy that's that's Gonna not connected like, yeah. to the internet. That's not into the blogging thing. That's not. That's not a geek, basically. Let's yeah. face it. There are hot geeks in this environment. <laughs> Hello, and I'm she, here. She has um, mentioned a few that she's interested in. <laughs> not that I would out you. There's so many hot men in this place. I can't believe it. Um, but in London, it's not. It's not as cool to be geeky, and people yeah. aren't proud of the blogging thing. We're, people are almost ashamed that they're involved uh, in the well, internet, or involved yeah. with technology, and I love it. I embrace it. You know, See, hit I me in the Lego downstairs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, is Love that it. the hottest yeah, environment yeah, yeah. you've ever yeah. seen? It's great. <laughs> I could date a non. Most of the guys that I've dated have not been involved in the internet, and I'm, I'm somewhat of a diva. So I'm like, I'm the blogger in this relationship. <laughs> Isn't that absurd? Isn't that absurd? Like, I've never dated another writer. I've never. I don't think. No, I've never dated another writer. Never dated another blogger. The writer, like, well, I can yeah, understand exactly. that because you know, yeah, there's egos kind of, involved. Yeah, it's right? kind of weird. Exactly, exactly. But bloggers. But, I mean, they've got to understand that you're you're going to be. I've never been approached your by another you're blogger. You're going to be twittering about but them, and they have to get with that, blogger. right? I would, I've never dated another blogger. You have to. No, I, not that I'm against it. I've just my big secret. Bloggers are hot. <laughs> so I've seen. <laughs> There they are. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what type of guy do you go for? Tell us. Everything. Well, obviously, I like the geeks. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. it? No, Tall, just, short, uh, you know, American, I, I, British. Uh, which, American which one's over English, definitely. You prefer American men. Oh, I prefer yeah. foreign men. Like men from other countries. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. No, American men. Totally. They've got the accents going on. They got the accents Okay, but see, it's not, for us, it's not an accent. We just talk, you know, normal. You're the one with the accent. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> they, have, they have to be intelligent and, uh, in my right. case, left wing. You know, they've got to have the right, right. kind of politics and, exactly. you know, be you know, sex positive and feminist right. and non-sexist and non-racist and, you know, exactly. and a whole other list of things. But those are the main sort of prerequisites. And where does you figure in, like, where do you figure in that? Because we talked about, like, men who aren't good in bed, men who are good in bed over lunch, because this is the type of thing sex bloggers talk about over right. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, and you were saying just kind of like, just like if there's a guy who's not good in bed, so to speak, um, there is the whole kind of, like, the curve, the learning curve, and you can go up that curve or whatever. So, like, what if there's a guy that you meet and you're like, he's shit in bed? Like, yeah. 
if he's got enthusiasm and he's cute, geeky, and intelligent, then... You'll work with it. Absolutely. Okay. Why not? Good stuff. Also, huh. if he's got hairy chest. Ooh. Mustaches, too? Like, hair all over? Or, like, just hairy chest? I just have a thing chest. for her stupid men. I don't want Really? It's, it's my weakness. Geeks and hairy men. Wow. I know. Yeah. Strange, but No, true. no. There's nothing wrong with... that's interesting to anyone here, but it is to There's me. nothing wrong with loving a hairy man. Like, yeah, hairy man can be hot. I know. Like, yeah, exactly. None of these she-men that shave their chests. Oh, God, why? Chest why? shaving. Like, yeah. I did like he shaved his balls once. Anyway. Shave balls are all right. Well, like, all of it was shaved. Oh. Like, um, yeah. Turkey. Turkey? Mm. Oh, visual on that one. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little slow on that. <laughs> slow enough take, okay? Not so nice. Yeah. What else should we talk about? Like, this is fun. We could just I talk about like, well, it. We say, what kind of guy do I like? What yes. kind of guy do you go for? Oh my God. You know what my problem is? I tend to get totally bowled over by looks. Like, I'll see a guy and I'm like, oh my God, he's cute. And I get like totally wrapped up in that or whatever. And if he likes me too, then I get all excited. And I feel like a little insecure, like junior high girl again, where I was like, oh, he's cute. And I think he likes me too. And I like start acting like a total freak show or whatever. And I get so wrapped up in that. And I get like blindfolded. And all my friends are like, he's an asshole. And I'm like, but he's so cute. Uh, <laughs> and then like, you know, a couple of months into it, I'm like, he's an asshole. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So I mean, I'm learning, you know, whatever. We're all imperfect people. Yeah, and then, yeah. Out everything. Ooh, whoa, okay. Are we getting a sign? We get a little sign that said we got to... Okay, so what do we want to make sure we talk about? Was that a sign came? saying we're doing well, we're doing badly, we have five minutes left? That's a sign saying I can see your cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes. We won't mention blowjobs, I promise. We did not talk about blowjobs. <laughs> we kept all. to our word. We were good women, we are. Yeah, we'll compare okay. techniques like off-camera, I think. Exactly. Uh, so uh, what else do we talk about before you like? I don't know. I, I, you know, I think... Uh, I just want to say, being here in this environment is, is fucking awesome for me because mm. it's the place where I can go, hi, I'm a blogger, and feel proud of actually yeah. saying I'm a blogger. And right. there's, it's looked down upon, I think, in so many other environments, exactly. especially where I'm from in England. It's, you know, hold on, you're a blogger, so you're not actually a writer, are you? You know, uh, uh, tier system. Do you monetize like, yeah. your blog? No, I don't fucking monetize right. my blog. I write a blog because it... it pleases me right and I do it in and of itself I like the technology I like okay. interacting with people I like interacting with the internet it's been yeah and I've really loved being here as well like this is my first time at South by Southwest my second time in Austin and it's been good because for me it's like not only just talking with other people about blogging and stuff like that but connecting with two communities of people that I don't, like I read their blogs and I read their works and stuff like that. And so it's like one, it's like the black blogger community and we're all spread in other cities and stuff like that. So I come to South by Southwest and we're all here together. It's like, woo, <laughs> all about George, it's great. And like all these like wonderful bloggers that like I read their stuff or whatever and we're all in the same place. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And then same with like sex bloggers or whatever. So like Violet Blue with the panel that you sat on or whatever, mm. or in my panel, the, the presentation and conversation I gave too, um, talking about sex really it's like so nice to be able to have open conversations about it with like-minded people who aren't like well you know like what do we need to talk about that for just kind of like people who are on the same wavelength about it Absolutely. so it's like that's been great just the community too like those two I think okay. blogging's helped bring sex out into the open as it were you yeah. know and they're not in a kind of salacious way that's about selling product necessarily or like talking about blowjobs which is why we weren't talking about blowjobs right today. yeah exactly <laughs> but it's, it's talking it's having right. a dialogue about sex and sexuality and exactly. sexual health and you know getting rid of the kind of the stigma attached to sex and sexuality exactly which is very important no i'm totally for that too like completely oh we have two minutes the mm. little clipboard fairy came and said <laughs> yeah two minutes look like, yeah uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm just overwhelmed with being here and being happy. I know, happy. it's great. Should I mention it? <laughs> you sh oh, you know, do you want me to mention it? I can mention it. You know what I'm going to mention? <laughs> we were, we were having a discussion before I arrived here about uh, not, 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 as an English person, not self-promoting. Yeah, because it's so difficult. Exactly. It's not in my nature. And I told her, I was like, yeah, and the thing is, is that like, don't feel bad about it all. I was like, in America, it's like if you don't sell for more, it's like, you know, you're going to get run over and run off the road. It's like, you know, go for it. And you should feel proud because she's published this book. <laughs> but yeah, and so she's doing a book signing over there. So if you want to. Over there at quarter to four. Quarter or to what do you say quarter of four? Quarter till. Like, yeah. Quarter till? I say quarter, quarter till. I'd say, yeah. Quarter of? Quarter. 345. Yeah. <laughs> 
345. Zoe's doing a book signing over there. And you know what? If you like have her sign your book, you can actually look it down her cleavage too. Because she's got that low cut shirt on. I see that. <laughs> All right. Well, they, again, the blogs. Yeah. Girl with a one track mind. Dot co dot UK. Exactly. And uh, Twana's is funkybrownchick.com. Funky exactly. So it's been great to be here. And thank you guys all for Thanks coming. Thanks for watching. To Thanks. Bye. Bye.